Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I am good. fine. Yeah, good evening, my Carlos. Uh, very good, Jocelyn. How was how was your day? How was your day? How was your day? Exciting, beautiful. Very good. Nice, it's good news. I like it. Very good. But about the rest, how was your day? Natalie, how was your day? Jocelyn. Abigail. ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Cómo se dice más o menos? Porque no estuvo ni tan alegre. You can say triste. You can say not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Not bad. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Hey, Roxana. No, she's connected, but she's somewhere else. Nancy, are you there? Hi. Ah, yeah, you are there. How are you? More or less. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jacqueline. Good night. Oh, what a beautiful cat, Wendy Natalie. <laughs> oh, nice. I can see you like animals. Thank you, teacher. It's beautiful. I have three cats. Three cats. And dogs? Mm, solo cats. Only, Only cats. cats. No, do no dogs. No space for dogs. <laughs> es que pasamos afuera todo el día y no nos podemos cuidar. Oh, yeah, I understand. Y los gatos son como... Hola, teacher. Hola, teacher. Hola, teacher. I am Brenda. Oh, hi, Brenda. And, How are you? And this moment, I am... Um, Driving and this uh, in this moment only uh, listen in the class in this <laughs> Yeah, it's okay. Dry safe. Okay. Me copy out. Dry safe. <laughs> All right. So um, so good evening. <laughs> okay. I think it's it's time for class. Yes, hora de la clase. It's time for class. So let's uh let's start. Let's start uh the class. So just uh just before. Uh, before the class, I just have one one question. I have one question, not two, okay? Only one question for you. Okay? So, what is or what did we study yesterday? What did we study yesterday? Estudiamos ayer. What did we study yesterday? Can you recall me? I don't remember. What ¿Cómo hacer una pregunta? Yesterday? Sorry, Juan Carlos. ¿Cómo hacer Question una pregunta? In simple present. How to make questions in future. In simple, eh, simple past. Eh, perdón, eh, simple present. In simple present, exactly. How to make questions in simple, in simple present. Ah, con los pronombres he, she, e it, right? Or other pronouns, or other pronombres. Other pronouns. Other pronouns, yeah. So we studied I, you, we, and they, okay? So questions with I, you, we, they in the simple present. For example, do I speak English? Or do you, I did not. <laughs> do you work at a company? Not yet. Or do they, um, well, let me see, do they check email in the morning? Or... Do we attend classes every day? <laughs> yes, so, I do. Yes, but yes, of course. At night, to be more specific, right? Do we attend classes every day at night? Yes, we do. You can say yes, we yes. do, right? Yes. And questions like, do I, for example, uh, do I work 
at night? Answer no, no. Do I work at night? No, I... No, me, me, listen. Uh, 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 I, yes. Do I work at night? Yes. Yes, uh, you, you do. Yes, you? Yes, no. you no. do. No. Do. Yes, you do. All right. Yeah, you can say yes, you do. do. Yes, you do. Yes, you ah, do. Okay, do. Thank you, Jocelyn. <laughs> Or I can say, for example, uh, let's see, um, oh, Jacqueline, Jacqueline, um, do you study English at night? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Abigail, do you study English at night? Yes, I do. Okay, now everybody, a todos les pregunto, I ask everybody, do Jacqueline and Abigail study English at night? Yes, yes, they do. Exactly. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Do. Yeah, all right, perfect. So uh, yesterday we studied questions in the simple present. Ayer estudiamos preguntas en el presente simple, okay, in the simple present. Y solo mantener nada más, solo recordar, el present simple es para rutinas normalmente, it's for routines, cosas que hago repetidamente, okay? So that's the simple present, ese es el presente simple, okay? So um, today we will study questions one more time, questions, but questions with Así vas a arruinar las canastas. Si hubieras traído una y después la otra. Sí, ok. Ok, before we start, antes de empezar, le voy a. Bueno, voy a pasar así tres, cuatro minutos, mejor, like before me. Ok, so I remember. Necesito. I remember uh, yesterday you created. Yes. Está con amarillo lo que dice. No se escucha, teacher. Sorry. No se escucha, se escuchaba no. más, lo oíste aquí. Sí, perdón, 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 <risa> perdón, qué pena. Now, okay, now can you hear me? Ahora sí escucha mejor. ¿Se escucha mejor o uso los audífonos? ¿Qué les parece? Yes. Bueno. No, yes, se, se escucha. Ya se escucha. Sí, okay. se escucha. Voy a sacar un poquito la compu por él. For el, for el microphone. Okay, so uh, I said yesterday you created some questions, right? The last activity, la última actividad, the last activity. Supposedly, supposedly I say because I don't, I don't know if everybody finished. Okay, supposedly you made five questions. Yeah, did everybody finish? Todos terminaron. Did everybody finish? Yes. Yes. No. No, oh my God, who said no? Can you know who said no? That's the opinion. Yes, yes, perfect. So, look, uh, the idea in this moment is that you ask the questions to a classmate and you take notes. Que hagan la pregunta a alguien y tomen notas. You ask the question and you take notes. For example, for example, imagine I have the question. Imagínense que yo tengo la pregunta. Um, let me see. Do you... Um, do you check merchandise in the morning? Do you check merchandise in the morning? Y ya estoy haciendo la pregunta a un compañero. I am asking the question to a classmate. Y en ese momento estoy reunido con with, uh, with Loida. Con Loida. Estoy reunido con Loida in this moment. All right? Le pregunta a Loida. Okay, Loida. Do you check merchandise every day? I mean, in the morning? Repeat, please. Do you check merchandise in the morning? Merchandise. No, yes. I don't. Exactly. So I write no. I write, right? No. All right. Loida. I don't. Loida, no. Y luego digo. Y luego cuando regresemos van a reportar. Okay, van, a, van a hablar acerca de sus compañeros. Entonces, cuando regresemos, el ejemplo que yo voy a, que yo voy a dar es, the example will be, Loida doesn't, listen, Loida doesn't check merchandise in the morning. Yeah, so I will report the examples about the person I practice with. Voy a reportar mis ejemplos, pero ya aplicándolos, porque ya le pregunté a la persona, obviamente. And she said yes, or he said yes, or she said no, or he said yes, right? I don't know. 
Yeah, imagine my other question, imagine that my other pregunta is, my other question is, all right, let me see, uh, always with Loida, right? Loida, okay, Loida. And I go with Loida again, and I say, Loida, uh, do you repair computers um, every day? No, I don't. Okay, cuando regrese, debo tener claro qué, qué hace y qué no hace ella. Escribo otra vez, Loida, no, para el segundo ejemplo, right, no. Y cuando reporte, when I report, I will say, yo diré, Loida doesn't repair computers every day. Yes, voy a reportar de esa manera. Is it clear what you have to do? Estamos claro que van a hacer, is it clear? So take notes, tome notas, take notes, please. So you have five questions. Uh, let's go to break. Yes, equation. Practice equations and take notes. And when we come back, cuando regresemos, después de que practiquen, van a hablar acerca de lo que hacen y no hacen sus compañeros en base a lo que les preguntaron. Based on what you ask. Okay, so please take notes. Por favor, tome notas. Please take notes. Are you ready? ¿Están listos? Are you ready? Una pregunta, teacher. Ah, ya. Yeah. <laughs> ¿Le vamos a hacer todas las preguntas a cada uno o solo una pregunta a cualquier pregunta a uno? In pairs. Okay. You will go in pairs. Y, you will, in this moment, you will go to break our rooms in pairs. Maximum three students. Maximum three. Maximum three. Okay. Right? Yeah. So you think no. Entonces, about... si le vamos a hacer todas las preguntas. Mm -hmm. Van a tomar notas de la misma persona, the same person. Yeah. But you ask the questions, pero hacen la pregunta. Do you? A teacher. Yeah. If I just have three questions. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> es de, en el equipo, yeah, pero no lo no, no, it's okay. Uh, it's okay. The, the idea is that you have, um, maybe in this moment that we go to break our rooms, you can make another question. Okay? Tal vez pueden hacer otra en el momento que nos está, estemos moviendo a break our rooms. Yeah? And you have at least four. Okay? Four questions. So are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. Yeah, teacher, I'm ready. Right. Okay, let's go to break our rooms. Just let me count how many students I have. Uh, let me see, five, 10, 15, 18. All right, so uh, I have 18. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, let me, let, let, let me, okay, let's go to break our rooms quickly. Porque ahorita no estoy en casa. Hello, hello. Uh, I sent Hazel, Hazel here. Les mandé a Hazel porque Jefferson solo está de oyente. Porque tiene una emergencia ahorita. Ok, he has an emergency. Por eso agregué a Hazel. Oh, so you practice with Yesenia Hazel. Ok. Yes, Por eso te quedé en el grupo. Thank you. All Bye. right. No problem, Jefferson. Bien. Entonces tenemos que hacernos preguntas, ¿verdad? Eh, yes. 
Bien, vamos a ver acá. Eh, sería I do, sería, ¿verdad? Utilizaríamos solo el I do. Sí, ¿verdad? Eso no. Sería do you, no sería I do. Vamos a ver acá. Vamos a ver si puedo hacer una. Si no inicio yo con la primera. ¿Manda? Inicio yo. Vaya. Do you drive a car? Do you drive a car? No, I don't. Eso es lo que, lo que ya no hice ayer. Ok. Cuando sentimos los sacaron, no, no los alcanzó el tiempo. Creo que no, y ya lo van a sacar no también. Una cosa. <risa> Va, entonces hagámoslas antes de. ¿Verdad? Bye. Ok. Ahí que los ayude Saraí. No, si el. Hola Saraí, ya se. ¿Qué tal? ¿Está cenando? No, el teacher se ha quedado. Ok. Va, entonces, ¿cómo vamos a formular ahí la, la, me... la, las, las preguntas? Do you, el verbo que usted quiera utilizar y el complemento que, eh, que, que corresponda a ese verbo, ¿verdad? Ajá. Do you... Ah, estamos con do you, ¿verdad? Ajá. Do sí. You... Do you. Tú haces, por decir, va. Ajá. Uh -huh. Vamos a poner este, alguna actividad que hacemos en un trabajo. O sea, ese tú haces no quiere decir que sea? el do que tiene ahí signifique que es el verbo. No, yo sé que ese no es el verbo. Ok. Ese es como. Es más para formular la pregunta, ¿verdad? Porque el verbo ya es la acción. Pero que es... Correcto, va. Ah, es para formularla. Ok. Porque el verbo ya es la acción que lo que uno hace, ¿verdad? Sí, correcto. Uh -huh. Pero eso va a ser igual que lo que hicimos de las cinco que hicimos. ¿Recuerda las cinco que hicimos anteriormente? Que estábamos en el mismo grupo. También hicimos unas cinco de las cosas que hacíamos cada día, ¿verdad? Correcto. Algo así vamos a hacer esas también. Así es. Okay. Así es, ¿verdad, Bernardo? Uh, Nelson, maybe what you can do, Nelson, ¿verdad? tal vez lo que puede hacer es usar las mismas que tenía para que, para que practiquen. So you take notes. Usar las mismas cinco que tenía, solo le, les pone ah. to you. Por ejemplo, una, ¿cuál era una de las que tenía? Which one did you have? Eh... Vaya, tenía una que dice I do open door y I do open door de... uh, hacer órdenes on, on Monday every, every day. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe you can say uh, do or, uh, I... sería hacer órdenes, do orders. No. Oh. I do open door. Open doors. Open door, sí. Ah, ok, ok. Then you ask uh, Juan Carlos, le hace la pregunta a Juan Carlos. Do you open doors every day on Monday or on Monday every, I don't know, or every Monday or, I don't know, you decide, ok? But use that vocabulary. Si no ha terminado la pregunta, use ese vocabulario para que no, para que practiquen ahorita. So you practice right now, ok? Juan Carlos, you use your question. Ok, solo ya usando el do, el do you. Correcto, do you. Because you are going to ask Juan Carlos, porque le va a hacer a Juan Carlos. Do, do you. you. Do ah, you. ok. Ok, so you practice. 
do you make report every month? <laughs> what were you doing? <laughs> Uh, teacher, una consulta para, para, para eh, responder, por ejemplo, yo pregunté a Natalie, do you make report every day? Ella ya me respondió, yes, I do, pero para yo hacer la, la para escribirlo. Just write, uh, just next to the the... sentence, listen, next to the sentence, porque la idea ahorita es solo que tengan si lo hace o no lo hace. Solo escriba yes ah, okay. or no a la parte de la oración, yes or no. And when you report, ah, okay. and, when, and when you report, cuando vaya a reportar, va a decir, Wendy, porque como tiene el no, you have no, right? Wendy uh -huh. doesn't make reports every day. Eso es lo que va a decir a la clase. Oh, Wendy doesn't make reports every day. Okay. Yeah, that's when you report. By now, only put yes or no next to the sentence. A la parte de la oración, solo pongan yes, al de la pregunta, sorry. Just put yes or no. Yeah. Yes, no. Okay. Yeah. Y como dijo que íbamos okay. a poner Wendy. That's when you report. Eso es cuando vayan ya a reportar. Ahorita solo pongan yes or no next to the question. Yes or no. Solo yes or no. Eso significa sí o no lo hace, right? And when okay. you report, cuando vayan a reportar, van a decir Wendy. Ya le, imagínense que ya regresamos ahorita de breakout rooms. So you will say, van a decir, en este caso, Wendy. Uh, sorry, Jessica, you will say, Wendy doesn't make reports every day. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, perfect. Carry on, continue, please. Thank you. Okay, no Thank you, teacher. Okay, no problem. Wendy, uh huh, to my pregunta. Ember, do you serve a customer? Yes, I do. Okay. Teacher, solo una pregunta. Yeah, tell me. Um, como ahorita estamos preguntándonos uno a uno a uno, ¿verdad? Yeah. Entonces, tendríamos que mencionar a la persona así como que, Ember, do you serve a customer? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Or maybe, uh, or maybe what you can do is, maybe what you can do is, maybe Abigail, you ask me. You le preguntas a Ember, and Ember, you ask Nancy, and Ember, you ask Nancy. And Nancy, you ask Abigail, and Nancy, que, Nancy, que te pregunte a ti, maybe. Porque sí. para que no, para cuando tomen notas, solo tomen notas de una persona. No, la, la pregunta de, la pregunta de Abigail era si era necesario poner preguntar a usted. Vamos, le voy a preguntar a usted un ejemplo. Do you Go, no, do you, no, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo es su nombre? Yeah, you. Yes, you, o sea, you, si, no. si, de, si se debe de preguntar, o sea, si se debe utilizar el nombre de la persona y luego decir do you. No, no, solamente... no, no, no. Solo la pregunta. Yes, porque ah, ya saben a quién le van a estar preguntando. Por ejemplo, ah, okay. Abigail, if you know that you will practice with Amber, si ya sabes que le vas a preguntar a Amber, ya sabemos, right? No hay so necesidad. You know, no hay okay. necesidad. Pero, al momento de responder, sí tenemos que decir el nombre del, del compañero, ¿verdad? I will give you one example. Ok. Imagine you ask me. Imagínense que me pregunten. Ok, Bernardo. Uh, do you check email every day? Yo respondo, yes, I do. Imagina, imaginen que Ember me está preguntando. A la parte de la pregunta que él me hizo, va a poner yes or no. Solo yes or only no. Okay. Just to remember. Solo para recordar la respuesta. Just to remember the answer. Porque luego van a ir a reportar a la clase. La, la, la pregunta era como, digamos, uh, yo sé que le voy a preguntar a Ember. Yeah. Pero entonces, al momento que usted nos pasa a que ya vayamos a preguntar, me va a decir Abigail y Ember. Entonces, yo le tengo que decir a él, solo la pregunta, do you, o le puedo decir, Ember, do you? No, no, no. When you report, you don't ask the question. You ah. only say, Ember doesn't check email every day. Uh, Ember doesn't make reports on Monday. Or Nancy doesn't, um, doesn't give classes on Tuesday, for example, doesn't. 
doesn't, Nancy doesn't, Amber doesn't, Abigail doesn't. Eso es cuando ya vayan a, a compartir con los compañeros. Doesn't. Vamos a pronunciar doesn't. 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 No, si That's... es positivo, solo el verbo con S. Ah, ok. Por ejemplo, imagine it's positive. You say, Amber makes, Amber makes reports on Monday. If it's positive, si es positivo. Or, um, Nancy, gives, Nancy gives classes every day. Gives. El verbo con S, the verb with S. Yeah? If it's positive, si es positivo. Yeah? Y si no, solo el do you. No. No, porque en este momento ya van a ir a compartir lo que sus compañeros les dijeron. Ya no van a ir a preguntar. Ah, ¿Ya? Yeah. Ok. Comenzaremos con dasen. Okay. If it's negative. Si es negativo, if it's negative. Mm -hmm. Ahorita van a preguntarse, do you? Do you? Do you? Only to recollect information. Solo para recabar información. Pero okay. si es positivo, diríamos das. Ah, no, 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 no. no. Si, es positivo, si es una oración positiva, el verbo solamente lleva ese. Eso es todo. Ok. Ya. Gracias. Das es otra cosa. Das. Uh, que continúe. Um, Nancy. Sí. Punto. Yo pregunto. Ok. Le voy a preguntar a usted, Abigail. Do you teach on Friday afternoon? Do you? Do you, do you teach? Teach. Teach on Friday afternoon? Um, ¿Qué es teach? Enseñar. Ah. Te no. Ash, te ash. No, I don't. Y en este caso, para contarles lo que, o sea, para responderle o compartir la respuesta de, de Abigail, este teacher le dijese yo, este, Abigail, Dasen, Abigail, ajá, Abigail Dasen, eh, teach on Friday afternoon. Ah, gracias. That's it. Perfect. Ah, thank you. Perfect. <laughs> Ok, continue, continuamos. Y en el caso de ser positivo, sería Nancy. Teaches. Eh, ¿Cómo? Teaches, teaches, in this case. Nancy teaches. Hola, es. Nancy teaches. 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 Nancy teaches classes. <laughs> And then you say that. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, All right, see you later. Pues, so do you call each check email every day? Antes de que nos dijera él, vea, que lo hiciéramos todos en conjunto, vea. Ah, ok, ok. No sé cuál otra poner. Si quiere, hagamos. Voy a terminar de hacerse a usted para ver qué. Hi, teacher. Ya ve que ni lo vio. I'm spying you. Les estoy espiando, I'm spying you, all right? No, I'm, just, I'm just checking your work. Solo estoy monitoreando su trabajo. I'm just checking your work. Y ni lo, y ni lo había visto. Solo son dos en cada grupo, teacher. Si eran cinco Depends. preguntas, a cinco personas o no, tres personas. Dijo. No, no, it's okay, no problem. You can ask the five questions to the same classmate. Pueden hacerle las mismas cinco preguntas al mismo compañero. No problem. Ok, ok. Entonces, Jacqueline... Voy a poner esa, do you make phone call in the morning? Bueno, voy a poner. Que era la última que me faltaba nada más. Do you make phone call in the morning? Hello. Oh my God, who's got a dog? Who's got a dog? Yes, hicimos las preguntas, pero ella viene llegando. Ah, ok. De trabajo. Yes, oh, she I, was driving. I, I, oh, my, I forgot she was driving. Oh, my God. Yeah. Ok, but, but you finished. Yeah. 
Ah, okay, perfect. Perfect. Okay, just a moment and then we go back. Solo un momento más y regresamos. So you can practice one more time. No problem. Okay. 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 Ajá. Ah, nos están grabando. <laughs> okay. I'm a, I'm a spy. <laughs> I am a spy with you. I am, I am a spy in this moment. Uh, did you finish? Yes, we finished. Okay, okay, perfect. I'm just monitoring. Okay, you know I always monitor. Siempre monitoreo su trabajo. I always monitor. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, let's go back. Regresemos entonces. Let's go back. Okay. All right. See you later. No se escucha, teacher. Oh, sorry. Now I'm ready. Okay, buen apetit, Jenny. <laughs> All right. Thank you, teacher. Sorry? Thank you. All right. Okay, um, so uh, basically you practice the questions, right? And in this moment, the idea is that you share, that you share with your classmates, all right? In ese momento, la idea es que compartan con sus compañeros. So the idea is that you share with your classmates. And for this, you can use positive or negative sentences, right? In the simple present. You can say, for example, I, I will just give you one example, okay? Well, two examples. Two examples in positive and two examples in negative. So you have a better idea, para que tengan una mejor idea. Imagine I practice with Yesenia. Solo imagínense que yo practiqué con Yesenia. I can say, yo podría decir, uh, Yesenia makes phone calls every day. Positive, right? Makes. Con esa S, el verbo va con esa S porque es third person, es tercera persona. Yesenia makes phone calls every day. Another example, I can say, um, Yesenia, um, let me see, repairs. Yesenia repairs computers every day, all right? Positive. Now negative. In this moment, I am giving you examples. Let's play down the example. I'm giving you examples, okay? So I can say, um, Yesenia doesn't, negative. Yesenia doesn't repair computers every day. Or I can say, Yesenia doesn't check email on Monday, yeah? Just to give you examples. Now it's your time. Ahora es el momento de compartir. Now it's your time to cheer. All right, let's see a boy. So let me see um, Juan Carlos. Can you please cheer? Just two examples. Maybe um, you can choose one positive or one negative, or two positive or two negatives, okay? Only two examples. Okay. okay. Nelson works in BCB, BCB Technologies. Nelson works out of the office. Okay, he doesn't have a, an office to work. Okay, thank you, Juan Carlos. Okay. Good. It's awesome. Okay, it's very good. Okay, let's listen to Abigail. Um, Nancy teaches class of Friday afternoon. Nancy doesn't you say the company parking. Okay, yeah, it's okay, it's perfect. Okay, thank you, Abigail, that's very good. Thank you very much. Okay, let's listen to another boy, otro, otro varón, another boy. All right, so let's listen to, let me see here quickly. Let's listen to Amber. Okay. Um... Uh, Abigail sleeps on the night. On night. At night. At night. Okay. Uh, Nancy. Nancy. Um, Nancy. Oh, sorry, teacher. Me confundí un poquito. ¿Cómo era para? Ah, ya recordé. Perdón. Nancy orders everything in the office. All right, orders every day in the office. All right, thank you very much. Thank you, Amber. 
That's very good. It's excellent. All right, let's see another girl. Another girl. Let's listen to, okay, Maria Elena wants to participate. So, Maria Elena, go ahead. Uh, Luis Ricardo doesn't, doesn't write in from every day. And he does go to the park on Saturday. Okay, he does go to the park on Saturday. Saturday. On Saturday. Okay, thank you, Maria Elena. That's very good. Just one, one thing quickly. And um, in positive, for he, she, do you need to say does? Necesita decir el das? For example, uh, he does go to the park, or he does listen to music, or she does speak English. Is it necessary to say das? Es necesario decir el das? No. No, right? It's not, it's not necessary. It's not necessary. Por eso le ponemos la S al verbo. That's why we put S to the verb, okay? So you say, he goes to the park. He goes to the park on Monday. I, I don't remember on Friday, okay? I don't know. Listen, just one thing. Solo cuando podemos poner el do o el das. Cuando queremos resaltar hacia yeah, bastante lo que estamos diciendo. Se puede, pero no es muy común. De hecho, es poco común. Pero tal vez alguna vez lo van a ver en inglés. Y es para resaltar algo que estamos diciendo. It's like when I say, I do listen to music every day. So I want to highlight that. Quiero resaltar bastante eso que hago. Se puede usar, okay? But it's not common, pero no es muy común. It's not very common, yeah? So, but that's important for you to know. Es importante que lo sepan por si lo miran algún día para que no digan, ah, pero el teacher dijo que así no era correcto, okay? Yeah, so you have an, a better idea, okay? Thank you, uh, Maria Elena. So uh, let's see the... Uh, Two more volunteers, two volunteers más, two more volunteers. Volunteers, I'm not pointing, I need volunteers. Okay, let's listen to Nancy and another volunteer. Nancy and, and Luis Ricardo, okay, thank you. Okay, Nancy. Yo le voy a, como, como, ah, primero yo, después él. Eso quiere no, decir. You go first, you Nancy, you. Okay. No, you, you a ver, eh, Ember, Go work on Monday. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, Abigail doesn't teach of Friday afternoon. On Friday afternoon, very good. Afternoon. That's very good. You say Luis Ricardo goes to work. Goes. Porque en positivo le ponemos la S. So you say Luis Ricardo goes to work. Yeah, just don't forget that. Solo que no se nos olvide. Don't forget that. Okay. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you very much. Now let's listen to quien más dio opinión. Thank you. Who else? Oh, Luis Ricardo, right? Yeah, teacher. Okay. Uh, Maria cleans in her house twice a day and she makes reports every month. Oh, nice. That's excellent. That's very good. Okay. It was perfect. Now, can you please, uh, so everybody has the microphones up. Todos tenemos los micrófonos encendidos. So let's give them silent applauses. Aplaudamos, pero con el micrófono apagado. Just to, okay, so let's give them applauses. All right. Okay, thank you. All right, so thank you for the participations. Okay, that's very good. You took courage. Tiene mucho coraje. You took courage. All right, so uh, now let's go to the next activity. Uh, Say, okay, listen, uh, for the next activity, we have this. Let me show you. Let me show you this, this chart. For the next activity, we have this chart. This chart is quadro in Spanish, by the way. Okay, so we have this chart. So uh, in this, this chart is on page 25. It's on page 25. It's on page 25. So listen, again. So in this case, you need, oh, well, oh, we did this activity, sorry. We will finish this one, okay? Um, ahorita hicimos esta inconscientemente porque ya teníamos las oraciones. We had the sentences, I'm sorry, okay? So we move to the next page. Vamos a ir entonces hasta la siguiente página. We move to the next page. And for this one, let's stop here. Left. Have something here quickly. Let me see. Where is the presentation? It's here. 
Okay, so for the next page, oh, before, before the next page, I have some vocabulary here. Um, I, I have some vocabulary that I want to review with you. Tengo algún vocabulario que quiero que repasemos antes de que continuemos porque lo vamos a usar ahora. Okay, so in number one, I have create software. Okay, let me check here. In number one, I have create software, all right? Number two, check email. Number three, check merchandise. Number four, repair computers. Number uh, six, write reports. Number seven, keep track of the sales. Eight, buy new merchandise. Oh, new, this is only one, ese es uno solo, buy new merchandise. Advertise the company, okay, advertise the company. Receive money, attend people, sell computers, make phone calls, carry materials, send reports, help others, and arrange meetings. Okay, let's go one by one. Ahora vamos a ir uno por uno. Uh, so maybe you can, if you want, you can write the vocabulary and you can write the translation. Si quieren, pueden escribir así cada palabra que, que vayamos viendo y lo que significa para que recuerden y tengan ese vocabulario presente. So you have this vocabulary on your notebook, okay? So let's see number one. Number one is create software. So what is what is that? Let me ask directly. Uh, what is that? Creador de software. But remember, this is a verb. It's a verb. It's a verb. Ah. Create software. Crear software. Crear software. Create software is crear software. So that's number one. Create software. So you can write it if you want. Si quieren pueden escribirlo. You can write it. This vocabulary is important for today. Number two, check email. What is check email? Revisar los emails. Revisar el correo, el email, o el email, okay? Check email, revisar el correo electrónico. Check email. Yeah, check email. We continue with the next. Check merchandise. What is check merchandise? Revisar la, la mercadería. mercadería. Exactly. Check merchandise is revisar la mercadería. Okay, that's perfect. Check merchandise. Next. Repair computers. What does it mean? Repair. Reparar computadoras. Reparar computadoras, exactly. Repair computers. Next. Write reports. Write reports. What does it mean? Escribir reports. Escribir reports. Write reports. We are reviewing vocabulary. Estamos repasando un poco. We are reviewing a little bit. Okay. Next. So write reports is escribir reports. Write reports. Keep track of the sales. Keep track of the sales. What does it mean? Mantener la pista, la ventas. That's right. Or rastrear. We can say rastrear. Keep track of rastrear las ventas. Okay. Keep track of the sales. Rastrear las ventas o mantener o llevar la pista de las ventas. Okay. We say rastrear. Keep track of the sales. Rastrear las ventas. Keep track of the sales. Okay, let's check the next. The next one is, the next one is, buy new merchandise. What is that? Buy new merchandise. Comprar nueva mercadería. Exactly. So buy new merchandise is comprar nueva mercadería. Buy new merchandise. Buy new merchandise. Comprar nueva mercadería. Next. The next one is Publicitar la compañía. What is it? Sorry? Publicitar la compañía. La compañía bueno, a promocionar, publicitar, dar publicidad a la compañía. Advertise the company. I repeat, no es advertir a la compañía, okay? 
advertise this, dar publicitar, promocionar, advertise the company, okay? All right, let's see the next. The next one is receive money. Recibir dinero. Recibir dinero. Receive money, recibir dinero. This is mainly for the cashiers, principalmente para las cajeras, right? Cajeros. They receive money every day. Receive money. Recibir dinero. Next one, attend people. What is attend people? Atender personas. Atender personas. Exactly, atender personas. So if you work in customer service, si trabajas en servicio al cliente, you attend people, okay? Or if you are supervisors, you attend uh, workers too, right? Attend people, atender personas. Next, sell computers. What is sell computers? Vender computadoras. Vender computadoras. Vender, computadoras. Vender, vender. Sell vender. computadoras. Here you can say sell. Vender y le pueden agregar otras cosas. You can say sell products. También vender productos. Sell products. Okay? Sell cars. Vender carros. Sell motorcycles, for example. Yeah. Sell is vender. Next. Oh, this is easy, right? Make phone calls. What is make phone calls? Hacer llamadas telefónicas. Exactly. Hacer llamadas telefónicas. Exactly. Hacer llamadas telefónicas. Maybe this is new for you. Tal vez el siguiente es un poco nuevo. Carry materials. What is carry materials? Cargar material. Cargar materiales. Jalar, llevar. Ajá, jalar o llevar. Llevar materiales. Carry materials. Llevar o jalar materiales. Carry materials. Carry materials, yeah, carry materials. Okay, let's see the next. Send reports. Enviar. Enviar. Send is enviar. Send, send reports, enviar reportes. Exactly. Send reports, enviar reportes. And the last two, las últimas dos, the last two. Help others. Ayudar, ayudar a otros. Ayudar a otros, ayudar a los demás. Help others. Very good. And the last one, el último. Arrange meetings. What is arrange meetings? Arreglar reuniones Arreglar. o planear. Planear. Exactly. Planear, agendar reuniones. Arrange meetings. Preparar. All right. You can say even. Arrange meetings. Did you take notes? Tomar notas? Did you take notes? Yes. Yes, perfect. Thank you very much. All right. So in this moment, please, with your micro, with your microphones up, repeat the vocabulary. Con sus micrófonos apagados, repitamos el vocabulario. Let's repeat. Para que no haya interferencia, right? But please repeat. Okay, let's repeat. Create software. Create software. Create software. Check email. Check email. Check merchandise. Check merchandise. Repair computers. Repair computers. Write reports. Write reports. Keep track of the sales. Keep track of the sales. Buy new merchandise. Buy new merchandise. Advertise the company. Advertise the company. Receive money. Receive money. Attend people. Attend people. Sell computers. Sell computers. 
make phone calls make phone calls carry materials carry materials send reports send reports help others help others arrange meetings arrange meetings arrange meetings okay that's very good okay uh now let's let's go back to breakout rooms okay oh before we go back antes de que regresemos uh let's see number one let's listen to abigail number one this one abigail number one can you pronounce it please puede pronunciarlo number one abigail create software excellent brenda number two Check email. Very good. Edgar is not present. Ember, number three. Check merchan merchandise. Check merchandise. Very good. Number uh, four, Hazel. Repair computers. Repair computers. Excellent. Next, Jacqueline is set. Great report. Write reports. Write. 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 Okay, repeat it. Report. Write reports. That's excellent. Okay, let's see the next. Yeah, uh, oh, Jefferson is, you see, Jennifer. Keep. Keep track of the cells. Excellent. Let's see, Jessica. Buy new merchandise. Excellent. Let's listen to Juan Carlos. Advertise the company. Very good. Loida Eunice. Receive money. Luis Alejandro. Oh, Luis Alejandro is not connected. Luis Ricardo. Attend people. Great, that's excellent. Maria Elena. Sell computers. Let's see, Nancy. Thank you. May may phone calls. Phone calls. May phone calls. 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 Phone. Phone. Phone calls. Phone calls. Okay, that's pretty good. Excellent. Okay, let's see. Uh, Nelson. Carry materials. Carry materials. 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 Roxana. Send reports. That's very good. Wendy. Help others. Help others. And Yesenia. Arrange meeting. Arrange meetings. Me meetings. meetings. Arrange meetings. Arrange meetings. Jocelyn. La misma, la última. Yes, the same, la misma. Ah. Arrange meeting. Arrange meetings. Okay, that's excellent. That's pretty good. All right. So um, in this moment, I will ask some questions. So you say, yes, I do or no, I don't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Okay, uh, so Yesenia. Let's see, Yesenia. Uh, do you receive money every day? Do you receive money every day? Yes, I do or no, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> Good, thank you very much. Oh my God, thank you. All right, let's see, Jenny. Jenny, do you sell computers in the morning? No, I don't. You don't sell computers. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Okay, let's listen to Luis Ricardo. Do you check email every day? No, I don't. Oh, very good. Let's see, Amber. Do you, Amber, do you arrange meetings on Saturday? No, I don't. Oh, perfect. Thank you very much. All right, let's see. Um, here. Hazel. Hazel, do you advertise the company every day? 
No, I don't. All right, thank you very much. Let's listen to, oh, let me see here, Maria Elena. Maria Elena, do you, let me see, do you write reports? Every yes, day? I oh, okay. um, every day. No, every day. No, no yes, I, I do. No, I don't. Uh, no, I don't. Okay, that's excellent. No, I don't. Okay, very good. All right, this is just to remember the vocabulary. All right, now I have something to explain to you here. Okay, I was telling you, this is how I was telling you that yesterday, ayer, yesterday, we studied questions, but we studied questions with the pronouns I, you, we, and they. All right? So for today, we have questions, but using he, she, it. Jennifer, Juan Carlos, or I can say the computer or the dog. He, Juan Carlos, right? She, Jenny, or he, Luis Ricardo. She, Abigail. Yeah. So for today, we have questions in the simple present, but using he, she, it. All right, let me show you this presentation here. Let me show you a presentation. I have this presentation here. Okay. Oh my God. Here. Okay. Look, I have some examples. Take a moment and read the examples, please. These are the questions and these are the answers. So take a moment and read the information, please. Read the information for a moment. Okay, quick question, quick question. What is different from yesterday's questions? ¿Qué, era, qué es diferente de las preguntas de ayer? What is different from yesterday's questions? El dos. Do, do, das. Exactly. El das. This, the da, das. So this time we don't put do. We don't put do. We put does, does, right? So I will share again. So which means, lo que quiere decir, which means, lo que quiere decir, which means that, um, let me share screens again, which means that with she and he and it, we use does. Ya no usamos el do, usamos el does. And look at the answers. Ah, en las respuestas sin the answers, también contestamos con el does. In the positive and in the negative, with doesn't. Okay, let's check example number one. Does she ask for assistance? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. What is ask for assistance? Yes, ask for assistance. What is preguntar for assistance. Assistance. Okay, preguntar, preguntar for assistance. Anybody else? Alguien más? Thank you. Ask pedir. For, pedir. Pedir. Exactly. Ask for assistance is pedir assistencia. Okay, pedir assistencia. Ask for assistance. So does she ask for assistance? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Number two. Does he drive the truck on weekends? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does Elena make phone calls? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Does our company... Oh, pay attention to this. Pongamos atención a la última pregunta. Does our company check the policies? 
Can you translate this sentence, please? Pueden traducirme esta oración. Can you translate this sentence? This question? Nuestra compañía chequea las políticas. Okay, let's listen to Ember, I think, right? Or Juan Carlos, I don't know. Juan Carlos or Ember, ¿quién es que lo dice? Okay, Juan Carlos. Okay, Juan Carlos, go ahead. Adelante. Nuestra compañía revisa las políticas. All right, important. And we put us, y le ponemos el dance, our company. ¿Cuántas compañías? How many companies? Una. Una compañía. Aparentemente es plural, ¿verdad? Porque dice our, our oh. company. But it's only one company, solo es una compañía. Es como decir it. So por eso le ponemos el das. Does our company check the policies? Yes, our company es un sujeto en singular. Yes, si es un sujeto en singular, le ponemos el das. But listen. Imagínense, les doy un ejemplo para que no nos vayamos a confundir. Imagínense que dijera, let me look for annotations. Imagínense, imagínense que en vez de company, dijera companies. Um, companies en plural. Ah, that is different. Eso sería diferente. Si dijera companies, entonces diríamos do our companies, right? Porque ya es plural. It's plural, okay? Just for you not to get confused. If it's singular, you put does. Si el sujeto es en singular, ponemos el does. Company is only one company, okay? Yeah, so that's important. Eso es muy importante. That's very important. Okay, and the answer, y la respuesta, does our company check policies? And the answer is, yes, it does, no, it doesn't. Doesn't. Right? Yes, and the same, right? Uh, just to give you the structure. What is the structure? ¿Cuál es la estructura que seguimos? What is the structure we follow? Ah, cuando tenemos una equation, interpersonal, so we have a equation. La estructura sería, the structure is, primero va el, does. Right? What is next? ¿Qué sigue? What is next? The pronoun, right? El pronombre. Can be she or he? She, he or it? Ah, oh, sorry. And then, what is next? ¿Qué sigue? The verb. El verbo. Oh, okay. The verb, exactly. So, does she check, for example? Check. Um, and then the complement. Y luego va el complement, okay? Emails, for example. Emails every day. Okay. Every, every day. So, what is the structure? ¿Cuál es la estructura entonces? What is the structure? Primero el dance. Luego el pronombre que podría ser he, she, or it. Then the verb. El verbo sin S porque ya es una pregunta. Okay, no S. Ya. Yeah? Aquí ya no lleva S porque ya es una pregunta. Esa question. Y dijimos que la S en el verbo solo la íbamos a poner en positivo, in positive. And then the complement. Y luego el complemento. Okay. So, do you have any questions so far? The question mark. Oh, sorry, it's true. Thank you very much. Oh my God. Question mark. <laughs> Thank you. So do you have any questions so far? No, no questions? Now, can you tell me one example? Now, can you tell me uh, one example? Anybody from the class? Teacher. Yeah. Can you tell me one example using the vocabulary I gave you? Pueden decirme un ejemplo usando el vocabulario que le di? Using the vocabulary I gave you? For example, repair computers, uh, check merchandise, using that vocabulary. Can you give me one example, please? Oh, Amber had a question. Amber? Amber, did you have any question? No? Okay. So, uh, so I need examples. Necesito ejemplos. I need examples. Does. Do. Okay, first, Loida. Leonardo. Loida and Nancy. Loida. Does Bernardo make exercise? Oh, my God. <laughs> Does Bernardo make exercise? Make or do? Exercise. 
Michael do like that? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> what about the others? What do you think? Lo demás que piensan. Make ex you make exercise or you do exercise? Do make. you do exercise? Do. Exactly. Make. You say do exercise. Okay, now repeat the question. That's the last. Ah, sí. Repeat the question. Does Bernardo? Does Bernardo do make exercise? Does Does Bernardo do? No, exercise? es que no entendí la diferencia. Okay, oh, you only say Does Bernardo do exercise? Okay, only that. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Does Bernardo do exercise? Yeah, yes, he does. <laughs> All right. Okay, thank you, Loida. And then we said, ¿Quién más? ¿Quién iba después? Who was next? Okay, Nancy. A ver. <laughs> eh, does Wendy cheese nurse? Nurse? Okay. Does Wendy cheese nurse? Okay, there is one thing. Hay una cosa aquí. There is one thing here. Aquí ya no estamos usando el is. All right, uh -huh. or am or el are, estamos usando otro verbo. We are using different verbs or action verbs. Which verbs? Otro verbos como attend, make, or check. Have. Yeah, so we are using, so try to make another, try to make another example. Intenta hacer otro ejemplo y lo compartes luego en YouTube later, yes? Who said teacher? Luis Ricardo, do you have one example? Abiga okay, Abigail, okay, Abigail and then Luis Ricardo. Does Roxana send reports? Perfect, that's very good. Thank you very much, Abigail. Okay, Luis Ricardo. Does Alejandro create software? Yes, that's excellent. Okay, anybody else? Are you must? Anybody else? Okay, let's see, uh, Amber and then Jenny. Amber. Activate your microphone, Amber. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Wow. Does Juan Carlos uh, repair TV? Oh, nice, that's very good. Does, who does? Does Juan Carlos repair TVs? TVs, all right. So do you, Juan Carlos, uh, do you repair TVs, Juan Carlos? Where are you, Juan Carlos? Yes, I do. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> now everybody, para todos, does Juan Carlos repair TVs? <laughs> does Juan Carlos repair TVs, everybody? No. Oh, no, yes. he said yes. He said yes. <laughs> And yes, he does. Yes. yes, he does. All right. Okay. Uh, so who was next? Can you ask Who was next? Who was after Amber? Can you ask the Amber? Jennifer. Ah, Jenny, sorry. Okay, go ahead. Uh, does Jocelyn buy new merchandise? Oh, nice. That's pretty good. Jocelyn, do you buy new merchandise? Um, mm, no, that's not. You, you say, no, I don't. No, I, no, I oh, don't. No, I don't. Everybody, <laughs> please listen. Does, jo does Jocelyn buy new merchandise? No, she doesn't. No, no, she, doesn't. no she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Oh, nice. You got it. There you go. Okay, that's just perfect. Okay, thank you very much. So, last participation, la última participación, the last participation. Okay, let's see, Wendy Natalie. Does, does Nancy sell computers? Oh, perfect. Does Nancy sell computers? Oh, but Nancy is a teacher. <laughs> oh, Nancy, do you sell computers? Yes. Do, do you sell computers? Sell computers. Do you sell computers? Si uso. No. On no. the Sunday. No. Vender, Bye. sell. Ah. Uh, no. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't. 
Oh, everybody. That's Nancy. Yo la mía, la mía, la mía. Quiero que escuche a ver cómo me sale. Ok, go ahead. La corregí. Ok. Das en Wendy uh, check email. Yes. Das Wendy check email. Yeah, it's perfect. Uh -huh. Das. Das. Ok. Das Wendy das. check email. So I ask everybody, everybody, please listen. Uh, does Nancy sell computers? No, she doesn't. No, no she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Very good. Excellent. All right. Thank you very much. All right. So it's. Oh. Al principio no es que no les pasé la asistencia, de hecho pasé la asistencia cuando estaban en breakout rooms, ¿ok? Así que no piensen que no pasé asistencia. Yes. Al principio cuando fueron a breakout rooms, I passed the attendance, all right? So I just have one question here. Uh -huh. We don't have Edgar today, right? Edgar no, no se nos ha unido aún. Edgar? No, he isn't connected. All right. Perfect. Ok, so uh, it's 9.10. So in this moment, please, let's go and take two minutes. Take two minutes, break in this moment. Please. So let's go to the break, two minutes. Two minutes de receso, two minutes break. Peace. Okay, that's good. All right, let's let's carry on. Continuamos. Let's let's continue. Okay, continuamos. I gave you two minutes, right? So I don't know if you have uh, any questions about the the topic. Do you have any questions about does does he does she? Do you have any question? Or it's clear. The topic is clear. Está claro. It's very clear. Yeah. Maybe one one thing you don't have to forget. Una cosa que no debemos olvidar. So please, let's come back. Regresemos. Let's come back. You tell you took three minutes. All right. So maybe just one thing that is very important in this topic. Okay. Look, look. This is important. You don't necessarily have to say she. No necesariamente deben decir she. You can say the name of a girl. Pueden decir el nombre de una chica. So you can say, for example, as the examples you were giving, como los ejemplos que dieron algunos, does, does Loida check emails every day? Or does she, right? Does she check emails every day? Yeah? Or I can say, for example, Luis Ricardo. I can say, does Luis Ricardo um, repair computers? Or does he repair computers? Porque siempre estamos hablando de he, she, right? Solo que estamos cambiando el sujeto por un nombre. Yeah? So that's important for you to know. Eso es importante que lo sepan. That's important for you to know. Yeah? 
and the ear, the ear, and the ear, right? Listen, this, this is important too. And need. Imagine I ask you the question: um, Does the computer, or does your cell phone, for example, does your cell phone, does your cell phone have um, good features? Does your cell phone have good features? Tu celular tiene características, buenas características. Does your cell phone have good features? How do you answer? ¿Cómo me contestaría? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yeah, that, that's important. Eso es importante porque estoy hablando del cell phone. Does your cell phone, tu celular, es un celular. So I answer, yes, it does. Or maybe I can ask, um, does your dog have food? Does your dog have food? Tu perro tiene comida. Does your dog have food? One dog, right? Does your dog have food? How do you answer? ¿Cómo me responde? Yes, they the... No, listen. One dog. Does your dog does your dog have food? Yes. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes. Teacher. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah. In and this sentence, uh, we can use have. No, it has. No, because it's a question. En preguntas usamos el have, no usamos el have. El has, okay. el has, así como la S, solo es para positivo. For example, okay. I say, he has a computer. She has a computer. Pero si hago la pregunta o el negativo, digo, does she have a computer? Does he have a computer? Or negative, she doesn't have a computer. He doesn't have a computer. Yeah. It changes. Cambia. Solo va en positivo el has. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so any other question? Alguna otra pregunta? Any other question? No? All right. So if there are no more questions, I will pass the attendance right now. So please, listen to your name and say, I'm here. All right? So, Ana, diga ahí. Thank you. Good. Brenda? I'm here. Edgar Alexander is not connected today. Ember? I'm here. Thank you. Hazel hey, Sarai? Jacqueline? I'm here. All right. Thank you. Je uh, Jefferson is connected too. Jennifer? I'm here. Cool. Jessica? I'm here. Juan Carlos? I'm here. Good. Loida? I'm here. Luis Alejandro is he's not connected today, right? Luis Alejandro, no. Okay. Um, Luis Ricardo? Here. Sorry? Oh, yeah, yeah, I see, I see. I'm here, I'm here. Yeah, I see you. <laughs> Maria Elena? I'm here. Good. Nancy Ivette? I hear. Nelson? I'm here. Anna? I'm here. Wendy? I'm here. Yesenia? I'm here, teacher. And Jocelyn? I'm here. Okay, we only missing, we only have Miss Alejandro and Edgar, right? Two boys. Okay. Uh, I have one question before we go to the next activity. It's not about the class. It's about something else. Um, if you remember, si recuerdan, eh, al final de la segunda semana tienen su primero, su primer midterm exam. Tienen su primer, su primera prueba, su primer, su primer examen de inglés en la plataforma. Yes? Did you take it? Ya lo tomaron así por, tal vez por curiosidad. Oh no, you haven't taken it. Okay, al just final, al final de qué semana, Tito? Yes, ajá, es eh, siempre igual. Eso lo debo reportar el sábado, así como hicimos la semana pasada. Bueno, de hecho a mí me piden que lo reporte el viernes o el sábado por la mañana. 
pero yo les dije porque algunos estaban que no podían hacerlo, entonces les di, les di oportunidad que lo completaran hasta el sábado antes de mediodía para yo poder reportar la, la, la nota de la tarea. Aplica lo mismo para el, el midterm también. Así que por favor, ya, ya siempre. A, al final de, de qué dice, de la primera, de cada semana o de la... No, de la son dos exámenes, semana. son dos exámenes escritos. Eh, al final de las primeras dos semanas y al final de las cuatro semanas, al final de módulo. Tomorrow sería entonces. Ah, es decir, esta semana ya les corresponde hacer el primero, el día viernes o sábado, por la mañana, para que me den espacio a mí para poder reportar las notas, ¿ok? Viernes o sábado pueden tener, pueden tomar, ahí va en orden todo, las tareas. Si ya, si, al, veo que alguien ya llegó hasta la tarea 10, no recuerdo quién es, pero si alguien ya llegó hasta la tarea 10. Yo <risa> creo que ella lo hizo, sí. Yes. Después de la tarea 10, aparece el examen. Son cuatro partes. You have four parts. Tienen cuatro partes en el examen. ¿Ok? Igual, de igual manera. Pueden tomarlo cuantas veces quieran también. ¿Ok? No es solo un intento. Son los intentos que quieran hasta que saquen 10. Bien, ¿ok? Got, uh, this is only a reminder. Solamente es un, un recordatorio para que no se les vaya a olvidar. ¿Ok? Así que, viernes si lo pueden tomar o si no, sábado en la mañana, durante la mañana. Y antes de mediodía yo, yo reporto las notas, ¿ok? ¿Ya es Nancy? ¿Nancy? No. Okay, sorry, sorry. Ya, yeah, it's okay. Ok, so, así que no se les olvide entonces. Don't forget this. Escríbanlo ahí en su, en su agenda o en sus recordatorios que no se les puede olvidar. Porque yo antes de mediodía, entre 11 y 12, yo hago el reporte okay, de las notas. Yes, please. Ok, so good luck. Buena suerte, good luck. Okay, let's, let's continue. So listen, for this uh, part, we will practice making questions. Vamos a practicar haciendo preguntas. We will practice making questions. So let's, let's see what I have here. So listen, on page 26, en la página 26, on page 26, I have exercise five. Page 26, exercise five. Página 26, ejercicio cinco. Create a question based on the answer. So based on the answer, you need to make a question. For example, yes, he does. He fixes the AC on Friday. ¿Cómo quedaría la pregunta? Does he does fix the AC on the Friday? AC? Exactly. Does he fix the AC on Friday? Yes, that's the question. Now listen, algo importante, something important again. Look. If you see, si se fijan, aquí lleva la S o la ES en el verbo, miren, aquí, here. Because it's a sentence, obviously, porque obviamente es una oración positiva. That, pero en la pregunta no lleva la S, don't forget that piece. En la pregunta y en el negativo no lleva S. So the equation would be, la pregunta sería entonces, does he fix, ya no lleva la S, D. A B, sorry, AC on Friday. Yeah, ya no lleva la S o la S. Yeah, so let's continue with the others. Continuemos con las demás entonces en su cuaderno, please. Continue with the others on your mother. So it's on page 26, exercise 5. Página 26, ejercicio 5. Lo voy a dejar de compartir para ver que están trabajando, ¿ok? Página 26, ejercicio 5 en su material. Ok, go ahead. So write the questions, please. Escribe las preguntas. Write the questions, please.
Los que vayan terminando, please, los que vayan terminando, eh, ahí en reactions, ahí donde aparece reactions, aparecen varias reacciones, right? Reactions. Si ya terminaron, pónganme una manita así, los que vayan terminando en la pantalla. Ahí, en, ahí por, bueno, ahí en la barra de herramientas, reactions, y me ponen una manita así, así como la que yo voy a poner ahorita. ¿Ok? If you finish, los que vayan terminando, para yo ir viendo más o menos lo que, lo que van avanzando. ¿Ok? Just to see how you are advancing, please. So if you finish, ahí dejen la manita. Bueno, creo que, que no se borra, right? Sí se borra. Sí se borra. Right? Se borra. Se borra, ok. Sí, pero ya más o menos tengo una idea. I have an idea. So Roxana, Jenny, Juan Carlos, Hazel. So Hazel, es así la... I don't know if you have a question, Hazel. Do you have any question? Hazel, do you have a question? No. Ah, esa manita, sí. <laughs> esa es que están levantando la mano. That you're raising your hands. <laughs> es la que está así. Okay. Yeah, that one. Esa, he said, that one. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, uh, let's see quickly. Revisemos rápidamente. Let's see quickly. All right, let's see. Um, so question number one is, does he fix the AC on Friday? Okay, let's see question number two. Question number two, volunteers. Does send many email to customers? Repeat it, please, Jackie. Repeat it, please. Does she send send many email to customer? Yes, it's excellent. All right, it's it's very good. No S in the verb, right? No lleva S or send. No. No. Okay, thank you very much. Just don't forget the pronunciation of questions, right? You don't say does she send many emails to customers? No. When you pronounce questions, you do it like this. Va subiendo su voz, like, like this. For example, the pronunciation of the question is, does she send many emails to customers? So, does she send many emails to customers? Yeah. And in number one, does he fix the AC on Friday? Va subiendo la voz cuando hacen preguntas cerradas, okay? Yeah. So, repeat the question, please, Jacqueline. Right. Yes. Does she send many emails to customer? Much better, much better, much better, much better. All right, thank you very much, Jacqueline. So number three, volunteers for now. Okay, let's see, Loida. Mm -hmm. Does she clean? Does sorry? 
Does she clean the first floor only, mommy? Yeah, it's yeah, it's okay, like that. It's it's perfect, like that. It's okay, it's perfect. So clean with no s, right? Clean with no s. Does she clean? Does she clean? Okay, perfect. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, let's see number four, the last one. Volunteers. Four. Okay, let's see Nancy. Bueno, estoy aquí para aprender. Yeah, it's great. That's the idea. <laughs> okay. Doesn't he keeps trunk, trunk of the cell? Okay. Um, yeah, the, the, the structure is okay. La estructura está bien. The structure is okay. Pero en vez de decir doesn't, I better say does. Voy a decir does para empezar la pregunta. Does. Okay, does. Repeat the question, please. Does Eric... Does he does he keep track of the cell? On the cells, yes. Does Eric? You say Eric. Ah, Eric. Does aunque Eric. esté el he, aunque esté el he, no 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 sustituye eh, Eric porque está hablando de. Yeah, eh, yeah. He, lo puedes Eric. sustituir, pero en este caso does he. Um, uh -huh. Mejor digo Eric porque así ya sé en la respuesta de quién estoy hablando. Tal vez en la respuesta uso el he. Aunque ya estoy usando Eric, pero es porque, mejor que... Ajá, Eric. porque se está, no se estaría repitiendo, como un barbarismo. Exacto, exacto. Pues, so, pero aquí lo que hago normalmente es que mejor en la pregunta, in the question, I use the name, yeah. and in the answer, I use the pronoun. For example, yeah. just to give you one example, um, does Hazel Sarai check email every day? Mm. Y luego en la respuesta de ellos digo, yes, she does, para no repetir, para no repetir. Pero sí necesito decir el nombre para saber de quién estoy hablando. To know who okay. I am talking about. So, thank you very much, Nancy. Okay. So, the question is, does Eric keep track on the sales? That's the question, okay? Thank you very much. All right. Last activity for today. And the last activity for today is a writing activity. Es una actividad de escritura. It's a writing activity. So listen. This time, you will write a paragraph. What is a paragraph? ¿Qué es, what is a paragraph? ¿Qué es un párrafo? What is a paragraph? Any idea? Párrafo. Yeah. Párrafo. 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 Not sentences, right? No oraciones. This time is a paragraph. Esta vez vamos a escribir un párrafo, not, not sentences. Yeah? In a paragraph, it's all connected. Todo va seguido. It's all connected. Yes? No son oraciones, like number one, number two, number three. No, it's a paragraph. is like all connected. Va seguido todo. How many lines do you want to do? ¿Cuántas líneas piensan que, que negociamos? Let's negotiate. How many lines do you want to write? ¿Cuántas líneas quieren escribir? How many lines? Three? Ah, come on. Four. Who gives more? ¿Quién da más? Who gives Four. more? Four. No. Four. No, come on. Four. Five. Five. OK. Let's, Four. Let's, let's, leave it, let's leave it in five. Lo vamos a dejar en cinco líneas. But listen. Listen. The paragraph is not about you. The paragraph is not about you. The paragraph will be about a classmate. Será de un compañero. Will be about a classmate. But for this, you need information from a classmate. Necesita información de un compañero. Yeah? So, and the idea is, we need to kill many birds with one shot. Necesitamos matar varios pájaros de un solo tiro. We need to kill many birds with one shot. Okay, listen. Easy. Using the vocabulary I gave you, usando el vocabulario que le di, like check emails, repair computers, make phone calls, blah, blah, blah. Yes? Using the vocabulary, you will go to breakout rooms in pairs. In pairs. You will ask many questions. Van a hacerle bastantes preguntas. You will ask many questions and you will take notes. Y van a ir tomando notas. For example, imagine I practice with, just to give you one example. Imagínense que yo practico con, just to give you one. Let me see here. 
with Juan Carlos. Imagine I practice with Juan Carlos. And I say, Juan, okay, I, my questions are ready. Juan Carlos, uh, do you check email on Monday? Yes, I do. Y voy tomando nota. Um, Juan Carlos, okay, Juan Carlos checks email on, on Monday. Another question, Juan Carlos, um, do you repair computers? No, I don't. And I continue. Juan Carlos or he, aquí digo, digo he para yo ya no decir Juan Carlos, porque ya digo Juan Carlos en la primera, right? So Juan Carlos. He doesn't repair computers. So I am asking and I am taking notes. Le, le estoy preguntando y ya estoy escribiendo mi párrafo. O si quieren pueden hacer un bosquejo y luego arman el párrafo. Is it clear what you have to do? ¿Está claro cómo lo pueden hacer? Is it clear? En el párrafo va incluidas las preguntas y las respuestas de la no, persona. No. Solo las I, respuestas. Listen, I ask only, only for me to, to gather the information. Voy a preguntar solo para recabar información para escribir el párrafo acerca de Juan Carlos. I am asking Juan Carlos just to gather information. Le estoy preguntando solo para recabar información acerca de él y luego la voy escribiendo. Solo, just check. Solo miren cómo va quedando mi párrafo. Listen. Juan Carlos checks email on Monday. He doesn't repair computers. En base a lo que le voy preguntando. Based on what I am asking. Okay. Imagínense que le hago otra pregunta. Ok, Juan Carlos. Um, do, you, do you check merchandise in the morning? No, I don't. So I continue. I continue like this. He doesn't uh, check merchandise in the morning. Y ahí llevo mi, mi párrafo, solo dividido por puntos, ¿ya? Yeah? Now, okay. is it clear? ¿Estamos bien? Is it clear? Usen el vocabulario que le di. Use the vocabulary I gave you. Le di como, creo que como 14 verbos le di. Ya con frases, con complementos. Yes, so use that vocabulary. Use that vocabulary. Use that vocabulary. Are you ready? So we will go in pairs. Vamos a ir en parejas. Maximum, maximum three members. Okay, maximum three members. So let's go and let's write the paragraph. Okay, let me see. I have one, two, three, four, five. I have 19 participants. So you will go in pairs. All right. All right, let's go. No sé cómo, ¿a quién inicia? No sé si Hazel o Rosana. Con las preguntas. Rosana, ¿qué inicia? Sí. Jessica. Hello. Uh, Hello. Do you shake mail every day? Teacher? Just before you start, you are, you are the only team with three members. Son el único equipo con tres miembros, ¿ok? So listen, maybe for you to advance, para que avancen, maybe for you to advance, Maybe two can ask questions. Dos pueden preguntarle a una persona. For example, uh, Jessica and Hazel, 
Maybe you can ask Roxana one question each, una pregunta cada una para que vayan armando. And Jessica and Hazel, you write the paragraph about Roxana. Escribe en el párrafo acerca de Roxana. Yes, al mismo tiempo, at the same time, para que avancen. And then, Roxana, you, you decide who to ask. Tú decides a quién le vas a preguntar para que avancen. O si no, van a hacerlo triple y no van a terminar. You won't finish, ¿ok? Ok. okay. Is it clear? ¿Está claro más o menos la idea? Is it clear? Eh, yeah. Tenemos que hablar sobre lo que ellos hacen en su trabajo, ¿verdad? Ya, yeah. ya, yeah. I, mean, I mean, you can use the vocabulary I gave you. Pueden usar el vocabulario que le di al principio. You can use the vocabulary I gave you. Le di como 14 verbos en complement, yeah. verbs en complement. Okay? Just email, repair computers. Um, you have a lot of vocabulary. Mm -hmm. So use that vocabulary. Usen ese vocabulario. Use that vocabulary. All right? Okay. Jessica, do you, do you receive homework? Come on. Yes, I do. Every day. So the, the first sentence, you say the name. En la primera oración, escriban el nombre, ¿ok? Y en la siguiente solo ponen she, porque ya, ya, ya saben de quién están hablando. It's like the main idea, como la idea principal, ¿ya? Yeah? So you write Jessica receives blah blah blah. Yeah. Do you help the person? Uh, excuse me, receive please. Receive. Do you help uh, a person? Attend the person. Sí. Uh, no, no, I don't. Just don't forget the S when it's positive. Cuando sea positivo, que no se les olvide la S en el verbo, okay? Don't forget the S in the verb. Yeah, please. Okay. Only in positive. Yeah. Okay, continue. Continue. Person. Jessica, do you send reports every day? Yes, I, yes, I do. Okay. I repair computer. Um, Sunday afternoon. Repair. Yeah, one thing. Don't forget when, it, when it's positive, you put the S to the verb. Cuando es positivo, cuando vayan escribiendo, le van a poner la S al verbo que no se les olvide. Don't forget. So in this case, Jacqueline, you need to say he repairs con la S en el verbo. He repairs. Okay? Yeah. Pure. He repairs. Computers on Sunday afternoon. Okay. Repairs con la S. Cuando es positivo, when it's positive. Okay. Don't forget that. Que no se le olvide. Don't forget that. Y en este caso, siempre tuviéramos que poner el he make. O sea, eh, eh, si en caso él, por ejemplo, él dice he make phone call every day and he may repair computer. Ya, yeah, um, son dos diferentes ideas. Son dos ideas diferentes. Las dos ideas van a ir como es un párrafo de en base ah, okay. a lo que vayas preguntando. So you say he repairs computers uh, on Sunday afternoon. He said, right? Así. You said that, right? Luis Ricardo? Sunday afternoon. Yes? Repair computers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and then you say Sunday afternoon. Sunday afternoon. Sunday afternoon. And then you say he Checks email every day. Checks. Esa S en el verbo. Checks. Ok. La regla que, que, que les explique. He checks email every day. Punto y luego continúan. Ok. Como es un párrafo. Cuando sea positivo, ¿verdad? Yes. Only positive. In negative no es. En el negativo lleva el doesn't. He doesn't repair computers. Ahí ya no, no, no es. Ok. Ya no lleva la S. Has no S. He has no S. Yeah? Ok, ok, teacher. Okay. Thank you. En, en, no entonces, problem. teacher, en este caso, no sé, sería el dosing, dosing check, check, email. He makes reports on Friday afternoon, at afternoon. He doesn't attend people. He makes phone calls every day. He make repairs 
computer on Sunday afternoon. Yeah, only he repairs. He makes repairs, no, only he repairs. Repair is reparar. El repara, he repairs. No, he, he ah, makes. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's okay. Continue, please. Continue, continue. Thank you, teacher. All right. Repair. Solo déjame arreglar esto. Repairs. <laughs> okay. The company. ¿Usted me dijo? La respuesta fue. Eh, no, I don't. No, I don't. Hello. Hola. I just, I just want to say something. Solo quiero decir algo. I just want to say something. Remember, uh, when it's positive, you need to put the S to the verb. Cuando es positivo, siempre lleva la S o la regla que aplicamos, ¿ok? Yeah, so don't forget that, que no se les olvide. Mira, y de ese advertises debería de ser, ¿verdad? Yeah, it's right. Le pongo la S. ¿Quién advertises? Nancy o Carlos. Eh, me. Okay, o sería you. I o me. Yeah, you can say uh, me in this case. Object. Okay. okay. So, so in Nancy, you're right. Tú debes escribir. He advertises the company. I don't know. No sé cómo la estructura. Sí, the company. Okay. He advertises the company every day or and put phrases too. Pongan esa frase de tiempo every day, in the morning, on Monday, on Tuesday. Yeah. Put those phrases. Off. Siempre, oh. siempre, utiliza, siempre utilizando el off, dijo Esteban. Off Monday. On Monday. Oh. Yeah. You can say on Monday, in the morning, on Monday, pero on. in the afternoon. Every day. The idea is to use the phrases. La idea es que usemos esas frases de tiempo, esos adverbios de tiempo. Okay. okay. And, and don't forget the yes, que no se, se les olvide la S. ¿no? La S. Yes, yeah. Okay. La S la Thank you. All right. Okay. ¿Va, ¿Va usted, Juan Carlos, o voy yo? Voy yo. Ah, bueno, ok. Do you write reports okay. on Monday? Yes, I do. Do you write reports okay. on Monday? Yes, I do. Okay. Aquí sería no. she writes. Yes. She? Exactly. She writes. With okay. yes, con la S. Writes. Your turn, turn Nancy. Perdón. Su turno. Y no dijimos que seis, por cinco, por falta una más. <risa> no, me si solo son cuatro párrafos, no es, no es son. Ah, <risa> está diciendo cinco, está diciendo. Five lines, not five sentences. Cinco. Vaya, lines. Son, no, cuatro dijo, ya no. son cinco, ya no, Juan Carlos, hoy estructuremos no. la, el argumento. Five lines in the paragraph. Cinco líneas, no cinco oraciones. Five lines, all right? Y si mire, y preguntando. Esa, y if the mire, notebook, if the notebook is a small, ten lines, ok? Si el cuaderno es pequeñito, <ríe> ten lines, please. Eh, Juan Carlos, ¿dónde está ese que me acaba de preguntar? No encuentro la oración, fíjese. Es la, la última frase en el, lo que capturó de pantalla. Advertise the company. Ah, no, perdón, es la de en medio. Dígame otra en vez, la misma por favor. Línea. Do uh -huh. you write, do you write, report? Uh -huh. Write es como revisar, ¿o okay. qué? Escribir. Ah, sí. Ah, write, sí. Write, grite, ¿verdad? Sí, Grite. cabal. Report. Ok. She arranges, arranges meeting sometimes and she helps others sometimes. Are you? Mm, sería, um, sería como I speak with Brenda Janina and ask it many things. She creates, she doesn't create software. She writes emails, um, emails. She doesn't repair computer. She, 
he doesn't keep track of the sales. She doesn't buy new merchandise. She doesn't arrange meetings. She sometimes uh, helps others. She don't, she doesn't attend people. Uh, she make phone calls. She carry materials. She does carry materials. She repeat that. She does carry materials. Como es, es, es affirmative, este no lleva el das. No, Solo no. si es negativo doesn't. She do. No. Es así, vas a hacer la oración sin el auxiliar. El, 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 el verbo es carry en este caso, carry. Sí, Así ajá. que digo directamente, she carries. She carries. carries. ¿Qué hacíamos con los, con los verbos que terminaban en qué? Carries. La S, para agregarles la S, ¿qué hacíamos a los verbos que terminaban en qué? ¿Qué les hacíamos para agregarles la I, E, S? Change the uh, Y por I. Change the Y por I and put yes. yes. Cambiamos la Y por I y le ponemos S. Entonces, en escritura tiene que ser she carries. Yeah? She carries. She carries. Like this. Así de esta, de esta manera. Just for you to, to remember. Solo para hacer el recordatorio. She carries. She carries, mm. aplicando la regla. She carries mm. material. Material. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just to she remind me. Doesn't report. In the verb? She yeah, doesn't write. The verb. Uh -huh, right. She doesn't write reports. Finish. Okay. <laughs> just, just one important thing. Just one important thing. Don't forget to put the S when it's positive, okay? No olviden poner la S al verbo cuando es positivo. Porque ahorita están hablando de she. Yeah. She. She, she, carries. she carries. She writes. Yeah? So don't forget that piece when it's positive. Cuando sea positivo, que no se lo olvide. Don't forget that piece. Brenda, do you have any question? Yes, yeah, teacher. Uh, mm -hmm. It's correct with... Say she arranges. Yes, oh. with S. Solo le pongo ah. with yes. And you say the pronunciation is she arranges. She arranges. Arranges. She arranges, arranges. meetings. Meetings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's okay. No problem. All right, continue. Continue. Continue, please. Okay. Yes. And... Eh, Jocelyn, uh -huh. das es ser con Fury. Uh -huh. Can she? No, este, no, das es recibe money, tampoco recibe money, dinero, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá, ahí donde, por eso es que este, iba yo al diccionario porque quería ver como un, eh, una, como darle continuidad, como por decir así, ¿verdad? Eh, Nelson no envía reportes, él no, no prepara reuniones, pero le gusta ayudar a otros y... Uh -huh. mm. um, quiero ver y a Nelson eh, le gusta recibir dinero Ajá. O, o recibe dinero o recibe dinero o sea, como llevar una uh -huh. como llevar una, una, una secuencia de lo que estamos hablando 
Okay, sorry. Acerca de usted. No. Uh, in English, uh, that is called connecting words. Eso se llaman connecting words o palabras que conectan connecting words. Se puede, se puede usar. Pero el sí, así lo tenemos que hacer, Oriana. Mm, yes, it looks more organized. Se mira más organizado y más bonito así con connecting words. De hecho, eh, ahorita yo no le dije que usaran connecting words porque yo sé que ahorita vamos empezando. You are, you are, you are getting started. Pero si las pueden usar, it's okay, no problem. It looks more organized. Eh, ah, ok. Voy a usar Teacher, uh, but. Ya, yeah, yo Ajá, ese usé yo el but. ¿Mm? Eh, a ver si estamos, no estamos decir, tan como dicen perdidos. But eh, is pero. Ya, yeah, but is pero. But. Mm -hmm. Ok. Yes, Jocelyn. Eh, así. Eh, listen, example. Okay. Uh, Nelson doesn't uh, send report. He doesn't uh, arrange meeting, but he likes to help other. And Nelson review no res, receive money. Yeah, it's okay, but it's too short. Está muy cortito. It's too short. <laughs> yeah, but it's okay. The structure is okay. Like, the structure no, is okay. Five. Así no, no. Yeah, the structure is okay. La estructura está bien. The structure is okay. Okay, then. All right. Let me go to another group. Iré a otro grupo ahorita. Okay. Continue, please. Continue working. Continue. Okay. Working. Okay. Okay. Nelson. Ya. Hola. <laughs> ya estamos de regreso. Vaya, Nelson. Hi, ah. teacher. Hello. Quiero ir a nuestra conversación. <laughs> Sorry. Eh, la, bueno, el paragraph. The paragraph. Yeah, the paragraph. Paragraph, the paragraph. Eh, ok. El de Wendy. Wendy attend people every day. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, ok, esperemos. Wait, listen. Uh, in this moment, you are talking about Wendy, all right? Estás hablando de Wendy, you are talking about Wendy. So you need in positive sentences, you need to put S to the verb. Necesitamos ponerle la S o la ES al verbo, o depende de la regla, it depends on the rule. Don't forget that, que no se les olvide. Yes? Dependiendo de la regla, le ponemos S o ES, o le quitamos la E y S al verbo, y le ponemos ES al verbo. So that's important in writing. Eso es importante en escritura. No lo olviden, don't forget that, please. Yeah? When it's positive. So repeat this, repeat this, repeat, please, repeat it. Okay. Wendy attend people every day. You say Wendy attends. Attends. Yes. Attends. Yes. La S it... verbo. Attends. Okay. Attends every day. She work. She work at school. She works. Uh -huh. She works. Uh, uh -huh. She works at school. She check uh, emails. Yeah, she checks. She check, emails. Checks emails. She doesn't make her an answer call phone. Okay. She mm -hmm. arrange meeting arranges. on Friday. Arranges. 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 Con S. Ahí va la S. Yes, arranges. Okay. Todos los verbos llevan S. All the verbs. Cuando está positivo. Yes. When it's negative, no es. Ah, ok, ok. Only when eh, it's positive. She have English class tonight every day. Ok. Pero ahí sería... She, at she, night. Ah, at night. She has. At, she has English class has. every day at night. Yes, has. 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 She has okay. English class every day. She has English class every day. Okay. Oye. Mm -hmm. 
Abigail sells computer and she make call. She helps others, but she don't repile computer. Even receives Monday in her house. She has English class from Monday to Friday every night. She don't or she doesn't. She don't or she doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't. So don't forget, she doesn't. Y la S y al verbo siempre. No sé si ya la escribiste, pero no se escuchó. <laughs> she makes, she checks. She writes. She she yes, yes. All right. Please. Okay. So, vamos a regresar ahorita para que le den los últimos ajustes. We are going to come back. Okay, teacher. All right. Okay. All right. No problem. Bye. Did you finish your paragraph? <laughs> yes, perfect. Thank you. Yes. Wendy, did you finish your paragraph? Yes. Maria Elena, Amber? Did you finish, Amber? Cool. Yesenia, did you finish your paragraph? Nice. Abigail, did you finish your paragraph? Yeah, okay, perfect. Loida, did you finish? Did you finish it? Good, that's excellent. That's cool. Okay, let's wait for the others. Vamos a ir esperando los demás. Let's wait for the others. El at eh... At night, se puede ocupar at after, afternoon, at morning, o solamente at night? Only at night. At night. For the morning, you say in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, and at night. That's the only exception. Esa es la excepción, at night. Okay. Or, or maybe, a la vez cuando queremos decir a la medianoche, you say at midnight. Pero siempre noche. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. or, y, all, y all night? Toda la noche. Ah, uh -huh. that, that is different. Eso es todos los días. All night, todas las noches. That's different. Pero all night, toda la noche. O sea, que se refiere de, de las 7 a las 4. Yeah, Eso sí, y no lleva nada atrás. Oh, no, no, no. It's not necessary in that case. Ok. Yeah. Okay. Teacher, can you repeat when, uh, cuando ocupemos afternoon? You say, it's uh, at. Yeah, no, no. You say in for after, uh, in. afternoon, morning, evening, you say in there. For example, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, right? For night, you say at night, at night, yeah? Me dijo in the morning, in the evening, in? In the, in the morning, in the morning, like this. Okay, thank you. Like this, así, like this, in, in the, in the morning, yeah. Okay, so uh, welcome back everybody. Um, bienvenido de regreso de Breakout Rooms. Just listen, something important, algo importante. Just don't forget this. Veo que a muchos se les está olvidando la regla de la S al verbo cuando estamos hablando en positivo para tercera persona. Yes, don't forget that. Many writing. Principalmente en escritura no lo olviden. Okay, don't forget that. Please. Okay, listen. Um, it depends on the rule, right? Dependiendo de la regla le vamos a poner S, ES, o le podríamos poner I, E, S. Y le quitamos a I, depende de la regla. So don't forget that. Que no se les olvide eso. Don't forget that. Y alguien más preguntaba, somebody else asked, es para darle más, como más, para que el párrafo quede más bonito, si le puedo poner otras palabras. Yes. Pueden usar en para conectar oraciones. En. For example, she makes phone calls and she checks email. En. 
para conectar dos oraciones, para que se vea más bonito, ¿ok? También puede usar el va, que significa pero, va. Hay que say, um, for example, she makes phone calls, but she doesn't check email. But she doesn't check email. También podemos usar el, el bad. ¿Ok? Yeah. So that's important. Eso es importante. That's important. All right. So uh, did everybody finish? ¿Todos terminaron? Yes. Ok. So listen. Yes. 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 Ok. Um, tal vez usando esas palabras and y bad y lo de la S, si creen que lo tienen malo, corríjanlo. Correct it. Y en la plataforma voy a abrir un foro donde lo van a escribir todo. Everybody will write it. Yes? Ahí le voy a decir en qué es fácil. Everybody will write it on the platform. But please, but please fix it. Pero primero, corríjanlo. Please fix it. ¿Ya? Yeah? Así con la S, pónganle N, back si quieren para que se vea más bonito. ¿Ya? Yeah? Yes? Ok. So it's time. It's time. It's nine. It's ten five already. Ya son las diez y cinco. And I know you are tired. And we need to continue with the private sessions too, right? So, uh, so everybody, thank you for joining the class. And don't forget that this week you have a midterm test. Y no se les olvide que esta semana tienen un test. Un examen, un midterm, okay? So please, go and take it. Y no olviden ir completando la tarea. Don't forget to complete the homework, please, okay? So thank you for joining. Gracias por unirse. Thank you for joining. And see you. Uh, Antes de que, de que vayamos, eh, no le, ¿a quién le corresponde este día? Ember. Oh, I have Ember for today. Para la private session, ahora tengo a Ember y mañana tenemos a Jacqueline. Okay? So, Ember, so it's your turn today uh, for the private session. Okay. So, for the rest, okay. you can leave. The más podemos salir. Okay? So, good night and thank you for joining. Okay, goodbye. Good, good night. night, teacher. Good night, compañeros. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Just let's wait for a moment, Ember. Nelson is still connected and Miss Ricardo too. They are logging out. Creo que ya están saliendo. They are logging out. The hand of some people. Como que se quedó congelado. I think. Miss Ricardo ya salió. Nelson es que se quedó congelado, creo. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so we can start. Podemos empezar para avanzar. We can start. So, uh, so Amber, so welcome to this private session. Bienvenido. Uh, well, the idea of this private session is that you clarify anything. Que puedas aclarar algo en lo que tengas dudas. It can be pronunciation, grammar, or vocabulary, anything you have doubts about. So do you have something, any question? Uh, no, más que todo, teacher, eh, yo lo que necesitaría es que me ayudara con el tema de, del diálogo. Le comento, yo le entiendo todo lo que usted me dice, puedo entender el inglés, lo puedo leer, pero tengo problemas con pronunciarlo o con hablarlo, mejor dicho. No encuentro la forma de, de poder armar esas oraciones. Eh, eh, y no sé cómo poder hacer o si usted me puede recomendar alguna forma de poder mejorar eso. Yes, all right. So, um, just one question quickly. Solo una pregunta rápidamente. Um, antes de esto, antes de, de este curso de inglés, ¿tomaba algún otro curso? No, de inglés no. Eh, prácticamente yo lo he aprendido como que de forma empírica, digamos. Ah, así. ok. Eh, leyendo, escuchando... Entiendo, um, eh, pero, okay, the, 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 the thing is that here we have something, aquí tenemos algo, we have something. That you have the vocabulary, tiene, el, tiene vocabulario, porque yo sé si entiende es porque tiene vocabulario, you have vocabulary, okay? And 
the problem is... Siempre hay, hay palabras que pues, complican, ¿verdad? No, no las sé. Lo que intento yo hacer es, en el momento que no sé qué significa una palabra, la busco en el diccionario y intento memorizarlo. Ya, yeah, I got it. Ok, entiendo. Sí, bueno, hasta donde logro así más o menos analizar, eh, está, está, la, está la parte de vocabulario. You have the part of vocabulary, este, de comprensión, obviamente, porque hay vocabulario, pero la parte de producción es el problema. Es normal. Ok, it's normal. Es normal porque um, you are like getting a lot of information. Está como a, adquiriendo mucha información, pero no está produciendo. You are not producing. Right? And The, the question is, how can you produce? ¿Cómo puede producir? How can you produce, Amber? Um, there are different ways. Hay diferentes formas. Pero ayer le sugería una a la persona que se conectó, que no recuerdo quién es, por cierto, but there's one. La que sugería es, what, I, what worked for me, right? Lo que, trabaja, lo que funcionó para mí, what really worked for me. If you have no one to practice, si no hay nadie con quien practicar, Practice in your head. Hay que practicar ahí en la cabecita. Practice in your head. For example, imagine I want to say something in English. Quiero decir algo en inglés, pero no tengo a quien decírselo. I have nobody to practice with. Lo digo en mi cabeza, como que me lo digo a mí mismo. Oh. Por ejemplo, algo que yo quiero. Voy a ir a la Pizza Hut y yo quiero tal vez pizza. Ah, digo, en la mente, lo voy a decir out loud. Ahorita lo voy a decir en voz alta, pero you can say... I want pizza. I want some pizza. Y si no sé cómo decir querer, voy y busco want y luego lo digo. I want pizza, but in my head, dentro de mi mente, right? Para practicar, sería una forma de practicar. Eh, Está en, un lugar, en un lugar solo o en mi casa podría hacerlo en voz alta, porque cuando lo digo en voz alta ya, ya va lo de la articulación. En, yes. mi, caso, en mi caso, eh, yo tengo, bueno, ando un ayudante que él... En, en igual entiende bastante el inglés, pero él ya es un poco más fluido porque donde él trabajaba anteriormente eh, habían personas que solamente hablaban inglés y vivían con él. Entonces él fue agarrando un poco y tiene bastante, bastante práctica y bastante vocabulario. Hay ocasiones que yo me pongo a querer practicar con él, por ejemplo, cuando voy en el carro, vamos a, hablando, conversando en inglés, pero tengo el problema de que a él me cuesta entenderle. No sé si es por, por la forma como él ha aprendido el inglés, que ha sido en inglés nativo, digámoslo así, o, o si es por la velocidad en la que dice las cosas. Porque a usted se lo entiendo porque lo hace por pausa, digámoslo así. It, Entonces it's yo lo debo agarrar. It's a process. Es un proceso. I mean, obviamente yo porque ahorita estamos en nivel principiante, beginner, yo uso el, el método un poquito más de español y uso, hablo un poquito más pausado, porque debo, como, como docente, obviamente, debo ubicarme en el nivel en, en el que estoy, ¿verdad? Aunque muchos sepan inglés, pero no todos saben inglés, ¿ok? Pero a medida, a medida va subiendo el nivel, la, la velocidad va, va incrementando. The speed is like increasing or going up, ¿ok? Es un proceso poco a poco, o sea, no, no es de una vez, a medida vaya subiendo. Lo bueno aquí que hay es la oportunidad de ir practicando cosas, ir practicando cosas. Y a través de ir practicando y escuchando, escuchándome a mí y escuchando a los compañeros decir cosas y, e incrementando vocabulario, eso va a ir fluyendo poco a poco. Going to start. Por, ejemplo, por ejemplo, ayer que hizo una de las, de las salas de reunión, eh, estaba, eh, si no me equivoco, estaba Jennifer, estaba Juan Carlos, estaba, no recuerdo quién era la otra persona, y estaba yo. De repente hubo un momento en que todos empezamos a, a hablar en inglés. E incluso hasta empezamos a bromear en inglés. Y lo lográbamos entender y, y no tuve problema ni para expresarme ni para, para entenderlo. Pero no es con todas las personas que logro hacer eso. Y depende on the accent. Depende de los acentos. Depende de los acentos porque hay acentos que son... Es normal que haya acentos que sean difíciles de, de entender. Es normal. Incluso eh, personalmente a veces hay acentos que a veces el oído como que no está acostumbrado a ese acento, pero hay un momento que se tiene que acostumbrar a ese acento del oído. Entonces pasa con los acentos, que a veces en un lugar a veces articulan de una manera, pero a veces en otro lugar, en otro lugar hablan más rápidos. Entonces los acentos como que varían, pero es de costumbre, no es de, de que no sea inglés. A veces puedo saber inglés y a veces lo que me cuesta es entender ese acento específicamente, en normal, y eso es totalmente normal. 
y, pero luego ese oído se va acoplando. Ya. Oh, okay. ya. Y, pero, sí, es normal. Y, pero a través y, del proceso que vayamos ahorita va, 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 va a ir mejorando eso de la fluidez. Entonces, porque va, hay bastante y, práctica. Y en el tema de, de la pronunciación, igual, hay veces que yo en mi mente lo pronuncio de una forma y a la hora que lo quiero articular no puedo. Entonces, también me complica. No sé si usted me puede dar algún consejo, algún ejercicio para poder... It's about, it's about repetition. Es acerca de repetición. Bueno, yo personalmente lo que yo hago cuando no sé una palabra, porque hay palabras, que, muchas palabras que saben que no las ve, es, eh, siempre estamos en un proceso, ¿verdad? Right? aprender. So, um, lo que yo hago es que normalmente voy al diccionario, a un diccionario que se llama Word, se llama Word Reference. Bueno, aquí está, ahí aparece, creo que se mira más o menos. El diccionario se llama Word Reference. Ese diccionario, en ese diccionario yo puedo escribir la palabra, por ejemplo, la palabra que es sanitize, que es sanitizar. Y ahí aparece la pronunciación de la palabra. Sanitize. Sanitize. Entonces yo antes de pensar que una palabra se pronuncia así, voy y mejor la escucho primero y la repito varias veces. Así cuando yo la uso ya sé cómo pronunciarla. Así que yo pienso de Escuchar la primera en Perfecto. Um, no sé si podría leerle yo el párrafo que hice y que me corrige en algo. Ya, yeah, of eh, course. Uh, Adelante. Linda doesn't create software, but she arranges meetings in the world. She doesn't advertise the school and Loida attends people. But she doesn't keep track of the sales. Okay, just in one word, solo en una palabra. Arrange. Como le voy a poner la S en positivo, voy a decir arranges. Arrange. Arranges. 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 Eh, la palabra en sí no trae S, ¿verdad? No. Le voy a ah. poner la S en, por lo que hemos estado estudiando, la tercera persona, en el I, en el sí, en presente simple. Y es como que la pronuncia aparte de la, de la palabra. Aparte de escribirla. Es que, es que va a depender. Va a depender de, 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 de cómo va. Normalmente si terminan en ES, casi siempre se pronuncian como is. Arranges, por ejemplo, in this case. Arranges, right? In this case. Yeah. Arranges. Arranges. Ok. Y con otra cosa que me quedé con duda un poquito de duda no sé dónde lo eh, uh, con el tema del do vaya el do es para I we I you we they exacto o no, o pero no o sujetos en plural uh -huh. O sujeto en plural, pero Exacto. en el caso de las, de las preguntas que, que estábamos haciendo, eh, perdón, para responder, ¿por qué se usa el DAS? O sea, es que vamos a responder, ok, vamos a responder de acuerdo al verbo auxiliar que se use. Si uso el DAS para preguntar, voy a responder con el DAS. Si uso el do para preguntar, voy a responder con el do. Por ejemplo, uh, imagine I say, do you play soccer? <coughs> you say, yes, I do. El verbo que va, el auxiliar es el do. Así que respondo con el do. Do you play soccer? Yes, I do. Pero si pregunto con el does, por ejemplo, does she um, check email? Ah, como pregunté con das, respondo con das. Just she does. Uh -huh. Es con el pronombre que, con el verbo auxiliar que pregunto, perdón, con ese voy a contestar. Por no she does. Ok. okay. Uh, creo que eso solamente era la duda que tengo hasta el momento. Ok, eh, perfecto. What you can do is that maybe you can go taking notes. A veces hay un apartado, puedes ir tomando notas de algunas cositas. Y en su momento, en la otra sesión, puedes, you can ask, puedes consultar. Ok. All right. Thank okay. you, Ok, thank you for connecting. Gracias por conectarte. Thank you for connecting. Okay, good night.